Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my new series of Vision Architecture. In this uh, video, we're going to look after how to label images for object detection using Label Studio. So, Label Studio is a tool released by Hartix. So, it's an amazing tool for uh, deep learning engineers for, for labeling images. So, let's go into the topic and uh, let's see how to install Label Studio and as well as well as how to use uh, Label Studio to annotate images and finally we, we, we shall import the labeled files in different formats first this is a welcome page of Label Studio so you need uh, you, uh, for installation you need python you could download python latest version in this python org link so link will be provided in the description as well and for creating an environment, you could go with virtual environment, or else uh, you could try go with uh, installing Anaconda. So installation of Anaconda is given here, uh, and the description is given below. You could install uh, with these steps. After installing Anaconda, you could open the Anaconda prompt. You you will you will see a screen like this. So in the screen, you could create an environment for example i could create an environment conta create and your environment name for example i giving labels label underscore img And you could choose a Python version you want. I'm choosing Python 3.10. So it's collecting the package. Press Y and click enter. So it's installing. Wait till the installation. So it has been installed and I'll show you how to install Label Studio by step by step. So that first we could open Label Studio website. So here I just type Label Studio. Label Studio. You will be taken to the Label Studio page. So here is the different ways to install. Uh, first way is using pip. So just copy this command and paste it in uh, the command prompt uh, which we seen before. And after installing it, just log, uh, just type Label Studio. You will be taken to the Label Studio screen. And another way to do it by uh, git. This is the easy it's not the easy step but still people's the easy step and you could use for docker also you if you have docker you go with docker and just uh, run this localhost you will be able to see the label studio tool in your uh, localhost so this is how we do it and here is the label studio first we should sign up using some domain for example wish and so here you could see many projects and uh, I have created already and uh, for newer new beginners you could create a project and you, you should type the project name for example I'm typing the project as project 
one and that you know save it you will be directed to project one so you could import images as well go to import and upload files so for example now i gonna import only one image and click import so i imported one image So I need to go to setup. There, I have seen a button of browse templates. Click on browse templates. You will direct it to a page with different uh, different features of segmentations, poly polygons using, and you could see key point labeling, visual genome, and visual questioning answer. So every kinds of uh, problems for your requirements it will be available on label studio you can use it through now i going with object direction with bounding box so clicking on this and i could label it you could configure this i gonna type down then i gonna add it so i could change the color to i am just now i'm keeping keeping to green then i i'm gonna click save then just just click on the dog and drag it so you you now you click on submit you could you could edit this as well like clicking on this you could drag it and if you don't want this just click on this and delete you could delete it as well here is the delete option edit annotation basically so you could delete as well so as of now i am gonna annotate it then get to submit so once you annotate it you will be direct uh, you after completing labeling all task you could come here and just click on import click not import you could just click on export and you could find different options with different formats of uh, exportations so here is json file you will be able to get the uh, label image labeled items in json format and uh, json mini so this is the list of items where uh, from name to name values uh, from the raw json file are exported using export only annotation for it is so you could import in csv also like you can export in csv and dsv as well as these are the three important formats that you use for use traditionally for uh, ai so this is coco dataset which uh, combines image as well as text file in same folder and ps uh, this pascal voc xml exports the labeled items in xml format and yolo the images as well as the labels different in different folders will be saved in, which is uh, exported in text file its bounding box will be given in text file so we could uh, see the next step in YOLO, how to train YOLO, YOLO model uh, with our custom object data set. So that's uh, gonna, th that's we gonna look up in next of our video. So as of now, as of now, I gonna import it. So given, giving export. So the project will be downloaded here. So after downloading it, uh, downloading it, we could see what are the uh, post steps uh, in next video as of now i'm going to project page and creating an another another project audio classification so i'm gonna save it for importation i gonna go import then upload file then i gonna import some some of my audio data set
I gonna upload it. So click on import. It will be imported. We'll go to setup, then as well browse templates, audio and speech processing. So here, here you can see the intent classification, signal quality detection, speaker segmentations, automatic speech recognition, sound even detections, many more things. But as of now, I need intent classification. So first, I need to sound off. Sound. And another label is sound off. These are the two labels I'm gonna add it. So I'm gonna save it. After clicking it, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna label it. So I could play the audio as well. So this I'm gonna save it as and I could label it as well. So this is gonna sound off and this is gonna sound on. I could label as my wish. This is how I gonna I gonna label it and just give submit. Then I go to next. Yeah, if you can see the labeled frequency, it will be the frequency are labeled as of uh, I do before. And going back, I could do this too. After clicking submit, I'm going to audio classification part and I could export it in different formats. That is CSV file. As we use CSV file traditionally for image, uh, sorry, audio classifications. So you go with the CSV as well. TSV also same to CSV, which is in table separated values. And you could go with JSON or uh, Minimax or uh, minim JSON min. So that's uh, that's on the requirement of people on the requirements of developers. So I'm gonna export it in CSV format. So it will be downloaded in CSV format. Yeah, that's it, guys. So in this video, I have explained how to annotate images and audio using label studio so see you on next see you on next video by, uh, how to train images and in another video by how to train audio as well so if if you get uh, if if you have any doubt ping me up guys i've uh, i've shared my email address in, in the description below and don't hesitate to contact me thank you thank you so much